Welcome back to Mo's Munchie Box. So today we're reviewing Salton Managor Fish and Chip Shop. This is on Kilmarnock Road in Shawlands on the south side of Glasgow. So openly regarded as one of the best chippies in the whole of Glasgow. Certainly to get enough uh, mentions amongst people who love their fish and chips. So we thought, why not come try them along? It's one of my kind of local chippies. I'm only a couple of kilometres away from here. Tried it before, always enjoyed it. So I thought, why not just review the guys? So obviously in the review we'll base it on what the food's like today and not what it's like previously when I've been here just to make it fair and everyone else we'll go grab the food and then get stuck into it Guys, okay, so that's us now got our fish and chips from Salt and Vinegar so we're just standing outside Queen's Park, uh, Sean's Borough Hall so get stuck into this and see what it's all about the woman behind the counter, absolutely lovely she said this is the best fish and chips in Glasgow I really really hope she's nice because I really want it to be nice um, the staff in there are so pleasant, so friendly, so warm and welcoming when we asked if we could film some stuff inside so you can see the um, interior design. Just to start with a chip, these are proper chips, hand cut. Oh. See, one thing I'll say is we've not had proper hand cut chips for so long. Even when you taste them, like boom, so fluffy and inside. This is going to be an epic chip squish. Three. Two, one, please. Right, so guys, that is what I'm going to say is the absolute perfect chip squish. Like, none of the potatoes came flying out because it's not too soggy from the oil. All the oil still, well, oil, all the potato is still hanging about. Um, love it. I also love the fact that they put the perfect amount of salt on that. Um, like, just, yeah, this is good. Maybe they'll have another couple of chips. Make the cameraman a wee bit jealous. Cameraman, would you like a dip? No? Well, one thing I'll say before I even get stuck into the fish is 7 15 for a massive piece of haddock. Plenty of chips under there, guys. Definitely not skimped on it. Half the time you go to places that use frozen chips, they go and give you a small bit of chips with a frozen bit of fish, and it costs more than 7 15 The fresh food, they tick that box. I really hope this is on point. So I want to try the batter by itself first of all. Again, first comment I'm going to make, it's not drenched with oil. It's nice and crisp feeling on the outside. Quite possibly, so I think the best chippy we've done so far in Glasgow has been the Merchant Chippy, who I believe are associated with Salt and Vinegar and Shawlands. Merchant Chippy was the top player so far, definitely on the batter alone. I think this we've got a serious contender. And if the fish holds up, we're in. Please have a quick uh, close up look at the fish. It's not sparkling white as we have seen in some other places, but I'm going to base it on taste and taste alone. Guys, this is very, very fresh. You can see how it's just coming apart so easily. You can see the little strands in the fish there as well. Um, this is feeling really good, and look how white it is on the inside. That's what I wanted to see, like the, the perfect white gold. Still absolutely blistering hot, we literally got this two minutes ago. Um, the thing that I find amazing about these guys is they make everything fresh to order. When you order it, you might have to wait five minutes, but I'd rather wait five minutes and get it piping hot, on point perfection like this. Rather than have something go in and they've got stuff sitting in the warmer. Fish, really nice. Not got an overly strong taste. Haddock usually doesn't ever have an overly strong taste, but it's got its unique identity. It cooked perfectly. Um, not holding excess oil, really unique, nice taste there. I think if I was to eat that with the as, as like one bite, I think that would be on point amazing. I'm actually going to do that, I wasn't planning on doing this, but No 
Joe's enjoying this food way too much. Usually I'll have a wee bit of fish and a wee bit of chips. Seem to have got through a good bit of fish and camera and just looking at me. Does this guy actually want to speak to me here or does he just want to keep eating? It's good, I can't help it. I'll just sum it up, so... I'm going to start with value for money first, rather than the taste. 7 15 for a massive piece of fish and the chips. Amazing value for money, you're not beating that. In fact, we've been to places where we end up paying like double that for the same thing, but smaller and not as nice. 10 out of 10 value for money. Parking, it's on Kilmarnock Road in the main part of Shawlands. Might be a bit of a struggle, but obviously you can park in side streets, show up in centres and just walk over. It's very close to everything. Queen's Park, if you're out for a sunny day, you want some fish and chips. It's very local to everything. I think they've got the perfect spot for what they are. Food quality, no doubt at all in my mind. A very, very, very strong 9 out of 10. Um, yeah, that's it. I think in terms of the Glasgow fish and chips scene, these are probably the big or the best players that we've been to so far. Like I say, I believe they are very closely associated with a merchant chippy. I can see why the quality there was high and why the quality here is high. Hi. Um, Gentleman just walked by and said it's the best chippy he's been to as well, so I'll give him that because it's on point and banging. So, 9 out of 10 for Salt and Mingor Chippy in Shawlands. If you've liked the content, guys, throw the thumbs up, jump into the comment section, and if you've not already subscribed to the channel, why not subscribe to it so you never miss any more of our amazing content ever again? And obviously, you're wondering, is it really amazing content? Well, I'm here, so it must be. I'll see you in the next video.